Number two, the recession of the moon indicates a recent history. Now what I'm telling you today is in the technical literature, the scientific literature, just bringing attention to it, and it's normally ignored, unfortunately. Thanks to the gravitational pull of the moon, Earth's coastal seawaters are cleansed and their nutrients replenished regularly. The moon performs wonderful things. Cleanses its tides, cleanse directly twice, twice a day. As the moon orbits the Earth, its gravity pulls on the Earth's oceans, causing tides. Since the Earth rotates faster than the moon orbits, the tidal bulges induced by the moon are always ahead of the moon because the Earth is, is more energy, it's rotating faster. Watch. For this reason, the tides actually pull forward on the moon. Come on, come on. Which causes the moon to gain energy and gradually spiral outward. The moon moves about an inch and a half farther away from the Earth every year due to this tidal interaction. Hmm. Thus, the moon would have been closer to the Earth in the past. But there's a very narrow window as to how close it could have been. If it were a lot closer, you understand that this action would actually wash all the continents level and denude them, be nothing here but a level land, and twice a day you'd have water flowing over it. Wow! So the moon was closer to the Earth in the past. Now, watch. If the Earth and the moon were four billion years old, as the Big Bang theory postulates and Big Bang supporters teach, the moon would have been so close that it would actually have been touching the Earth less than a one and a half billion years ago. Now, this is damaging to evolutionary theory. It destroys evolutionary theory, giving an impossible scenario. Long before that age, tidal inundations would have swept all soil from Earth's continents due to increased gravitation from a, the closer moon, because it's, it's leaving us now, it's getting out of here. Even the moon realizes we got problems down here. <laughs> it's getting out of here, uh, very slowly. But if it were much closer, the continents would all be denuded. The Earth-Moon system is young. That's the whole point. And here's a schematic from Jason Lyle, a brilliant astrophysicist, showing the Earth rotating, the Moon following, this gravitational force of the tidal bulge actually caused by the Moon. Now it pulls on it and it, it gains energy and momentum and actually goes a little farther out every year about an inch and a half.